Hey everyone, I'm in the middle of a project. I just, I'm really excited about this. It's turning out really good. So I just wanted to kind of show everybody. Uh, it's a toe up sock on the fourth, one fourth gauge, 56 peg, uh, knitted knocker loom from Premium Knitting Looms. And I absolutely love this because you can see it's almost seamless. Uh, this one, I did the whole thing with the E-Wrap. I'm going to finish this one up just so I have a match for it. And then I'm going to redo the pattern the exact same. But instead of using an E-Wrap, I'm going to use probably the True Knit Stitch instead. It'll take a lot longer, but it's going to shrink the whole thing up. And doing it that way, I won't have... Um, a big problem I have is seams which when you're doing just a straight e-wrap it's really easy to do that just because you start a lot of people will start to stop in the exact same spot if you want to use the e-wrap and you don't want that seam what I suggest you do is you just go one peg at a time you'll e-wrap take the bottom over the top do the next one bottom over the top and just keep doing that but the concept behind the toe up sock it's actually, it was a lot easier than I expected. I, I marked off half my loom. A little love to knit um, stitch marker. But I put a, something over here to mark half the loom. And then I just went and just my increase and decrease just like you do for a heel. And then when I got done with it, I had to take the other half. Place them back up here. And then just start going in the round. And at this point you measure so when this gets to where like down here to up here it's about seven inches long then I will just do a heel do my cuff and I'll measure it uh, that's better than sitting here and keeping track of your rows which you can do that if you want but I didn't and it would be a little difficult to do at this point uh, it could be done it just be a little difficult the yarn I'm using for this it's Cascade Yarns, uh, 220 Superwash, Sport Maltese, and I think this one's called Fire. It's the color number and everything. I thought this one was called Fire. I don't think it has a name on it. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. So it is 100% oh, Merino wool. But it is a Superwash, so you don't have to worry about it shrinking up on you. And it feels really, really nice. I do have a spool winder, so I took the hank apart and put it through my spool winder and put a yarn brawl on it so that I wouldn't mess it up. But this video isn't really showing you how to do it. I'm just really excited about this because socks are one of those things that I can't use your normal square sock looms because of my carpal tunnel. So the fact that I can make, I can use the size, this is a size 3 yarn. I can use a sport weight yarn or a um, DK weight. I forget what exactly what it's called. They've changed the measurements up over the years. But I can use a smaller gauge yarn, single strand, and come up with something that is awesome and looks very nice. Uh, my fiance has weared this, like put it on, tried it, and it fit him great. Now I do have a different cast off that I'm going to do for the top because this one's kind of... Bubbly. I'm going to go back to my my super stretchy cast off. I tried to do a crochet cast off for this one. And I'm not digging how it turned out. So I will use a super stretchy for the next one. But I am very, very happy with how this is turning out. And of course, I will do a video beginning to end how to do it uh, once I get done with this sock. Because I'm going to be doing it with a few little changes in it so it turns out a little better. But I just, I'm excited. I want to show everybody what I'm working on. Um... So when I do have the full video done, I will put a link in the description to this one. All right, really, that's all I had. Uh, thank you for watching. Any uh, comments, just leave in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 